did Andrew Ness does Oh, I can't even talk to people, my fanatics, my folks, my audience. You know, long I'm not really shoot a video up and at them again. You understand? Big up to my fanatics, my folks, and my audience, them all over the globe. Big up on yourself. You understand? Did Andrew this done go make me feel proud as a Jamaican? Oh, Prime Minister of Andrew Ness, congratulations, man. I never thought you had it in you. You understand? So, we give thanks to the Bajan community, the people of my Barbados, we say independent from imperialism, imp independence from the Queen, you know what I mean? We have to turn them thing into a proper sovereignty because the world is changing and changing very rapidly at the moment, my people. You understand? So big up to the Baroon movement in Jamaica and all that. You understand? For shut down the whole of the operation and the things that we want past the border, they go up on Maroon land. You understand? As you know, so the Maroons are the people who fought for Jamaica. Uh, you know, sweat, blood and tears been put in by those African ancestors that got captured through colonialism, imperialism, and all of that. And we know it very well. And those who be people who are too young to know it, just go and check out the Maroons of Jamaica. And, yeah, the Prime Minister done gone made me change my mind now, because for real, still, I was born in fire. And you missed Andrew Ness for, you understand, telling us that, boy, you know what I mean, we need the investment of aluminium and whatever. Yo, we need the yam industry up. You understand, we need the planting industry up, we need the mango industry up, Mr. Oldness. Because guess what now? Yeah, all these industries, they want us, they need us. There's a lot more resources in Jamaica than just bauxite. You understand, get yourself out of these old meds. The bauxite not doing so much for us. You understand, Mr. Andrew Oldness, you have to understand that people around the community suffering from, uh, you know, the dust and the dirt. Yeah, I come from an area. And in that part of Clarendon, where I come from, in that area there, is this. They were fixing the road. Yeah, and in that road fixing that was going on, you know, you know, a lot of people get some money for the land that, uh, you know, the government wanted to expand the road. If you understand what I'm saying, they wanted uh, the land to expand the road. But I feel like after that uh, development happened, a lot of people never get, like, you know what I mean, the health support that they needed. Because there's a lot of elderly people there in that community that after that road operation happened that died, that we don't even know if it's the dirt. We don't even know if it's the, the dugout that done all of that. And we don't know what is what because, to be honest, in that community, which I probably, when they start fixing the road, the one in Jamaica, when they start fixing the road, before they start fixing the road, the, the, loads of old people wasn't dying like that. You understand? So what I'm saying, I know that the dirt affect people never mind bauxite mining you understand that is detrimental to people okay so what can we do you understand just like all the rest of the world now after stop relying on oil so much because of the palava and the war in ukraine and all of this that's going on if you understand people don't understand that ukraine is a place that no produce most of the wheat in in the world <laughs> you understand what i'm saying so people have to understand the importance of what's going on there at the moment as well. And the links between that and, and the governments of the world not taking, uh, you know, like digging out the resources in their country as serious as they should because of climate change and all of that. But in saying that, you know what I mean? I'm proud that the prime minister now is saying to the prince, which he, he could have said behind closed door, he said in front of the camera that we're planning to go independent we planning to move forward our country on our own you understand i'm really proud that the prime minister said that you understand i can't believe that the prime minister might be starting to listen to his own people you understand what i mean listen to your own people prime minister and that's how you move the country forward you understand you go you make sure that your mps into the areas talk to the people and you get the proper feedback and really listen to the people at this time if you really want an independent sovereign free jamaica you understand? It stands for the MPs them and the Prime Minister them on the opposite side and on the ruling side to come together and formulate a plan how oh, they can make elections free and fair and also how oh, oh, we can limit the amount of guns coming to our island. You understand what I mean? I'm more endar some computers and things, you know, defibrillators, life supporting aid equipment like wheelchairs and hospital beds and all those things so we want to really think about that at the moment 
and also in the maroon places and the footages that i've seen and when i've been to maroon areas i'm very proud of the maroon people for keeping the place so well they uphold the place so well and i know that the maroons are opposed to the government because at the moment where we are in history i'm sure that there's maroon blood in the government and the people have to really remember about their roots and culture and also remember marcus garvey and keep the panel pan-africanism alive you understand what i mean i feel like uh if this is what Angelus is going to do uh barbados and uh and um and i'd like to thank prime minister of barbados you know what i mean for making some really really um forward moves some really futuristic moves you know what i mean and making rihanna like a hero you know what i mean we need to look at that in jamaica as well to see uh people who are already excelling as jamaicans as people from the caribbean as lost children from africa stolen uh as, as we're excelling and going forward you know what i mean i'm really proud of these things and i hope that the jamaican prime minister look at what uh the Bayesian prime minister did barbados prime minister did just to understand that sometimes you have to reward the people while they're alive and well and kicking and giving give them their roles now while they're alive yeah so stuff like that so yeah big up to all of the people out there and all of that you understand big up to all the people who say no to war no to nuclear war no no to the fighting you understand yes to talking discussion sometimes talking not gonna be easy you understand what i mean but as long as what you're talking about is trying to improve peace and uh, you know what i mean safety and the planet that we live on because if you want to go to holiday you have to go to another country so we want global peace and we want collective security for sure we want collective security to have the assurance of safety like what king selassie would say so bless him, my people my fanatics my folks but me can't believe it you understand maybe there's a little bit of maroon blood in her and jewelness there and it seem like it's opening up you understand so yes very positive step and i'd hope to the prime minister uh you know talk to the talk to the royals and you know try and put something in place uh as like a <clears throat> A skill building mechanism that can build skills that can you know sell the skills abroad export the skills that we have export the, the, the products that we have i hope he talked to the prince about that because instead of just cutting off the relationship just like that with the royals they can help us to rebuild the nation also so not because the enemy uh it thousands a year smashed up uh our our um civilizations and stuff like that just like how they can help us, just like how they can help us to destroy, they can help us to build. So I hope that the Prime Minister of Sense and really demand some things out of this, what's going on and what's going forward. Make some demands and see if we can get some financial aid to reparation, you know, to reparation and stuff like that, yeah? Because we don't need to rebel about it. Um, Rastafari movement was built and based around the, the defense and the interest of that so at the end of the day my people big up on yourself make sure you're going to listen to some bob marley make sure you're going to listen to some peter tash blessed be to you all love on all and you don't know tell me what you think about all that i said and over and out can't talk favor so just tell me what you think and long time no shoot on them video blessed up and out hitting on the real art with the good beverage my fanatics my folks my audience my room we say and jamaica we say and independent jamaica and independent free fair sovereignties across the world and independent free fair elections across the world without bloodshed chaos and madness and we say no to nuclear war because it's not good for no one no matter where you are on the planet over